Hi everyone, this is Rick here in the e-learning office at South Puget Sound Community College and I want to show you today how to use Tegrity to view a lecture in your classroom. Let's go. Okay, so here I am in my Angel login page and I'm going to log in as I typically do. Use my 875 number my password and here I am on my home page and I see of course the courses that I'm enrolled in and the Tegrity nugget right here so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and that's going to open for me the Tegrity dashboard and the Tegrity dashboard shows me um, just like Angel the courses that I'm enrolled in um, and the number of recordings that are available for each course. Notice also there are some resources here for uh, learning about Tegrity. So there are um, there's a student tutorial here and there are some sample recordings here which uh, may be interesting for you to look at. So I'm going to go into a course here that has some Tegrity recordings that I've made and I can click on the the title of the recording and it will open up for me. Now what it's showing me are the chapters in this recording and Tegrity divides up the presentation into chapters based on the slide that's showing at that time. So I'm going to click on the first slide to initiate the playback and it's loading the playback screen and here we go. So here I am giving a, a lecture about the anatomy of speech and language and there's a couple things that you'll want to know about this player. The first is that you can make the windows bigger so if I want to look at the slide window in full screen, I just click on it here and that puts it into full screen. If I want to see the instructor's screen for some crazy reason, you click on that and it puts that into full screen as well. There we go. So, you can look at me making a funny face. Um, also, if you want to jump to any chapter in the presentation, you just hover over the timeline here and those slides pop up and you can jump directly to any of those particular slides. You can also see the entire slide um, set of chapters by clicking on this button right here. Okay, for general control, you just click play um, to uh, initiate playback. You can jump to the next chapter by clicking the right hand button or the previous chapter by clicking the left hand button. You can adjust the volume here with a slider. You can also adjust the speed of the playback. So if I want to watch a lecture that lasts an hour and I have 45 minutes, I can increase the time um, by a factor of uh, 1.5 um, or even 2 and compress that into a shorter amount of time. Okay, other buttons here that uh, you may find useful. You can print from right here if um, your instructor has enabled that and also download the recording. Now downloading is useful if you would like to be able to watch the recording at a time when you're not 
hooked up to the internet so you could download the recording to your computer and watch it at your convenience. There's a help button here and there's also a uh, chat function. So when you click on the chat button you get a list of who's online at, th at this time and you can discuss with them the content of your presentation. Okay, the last feature of the playback screen is the search function here and if you type a search term into the, the field you will pull up all of the slides that have uh, that word on it. And so you can jump directly to something if you can identify it with a particular term. Okay, that's how you play back a recording integrity. Good luck.